The U.S. elections are about a year away, and the televised debates are a major turning point when it comes to the U.S. election. Candidates use it to bring the audience to their side. Television houses use it for views, reach, and ad income. Polling companies and journalist agencies use it for election predictions. Everyone gets a piece of this pie, but where did it come from? Welcome to the Behind the Date. This September 26, we're rewinding the clock back to 1960, when the presidential debate was televised for the very first time. In today's video, let me tell you all about how the candidates prepared for being on TV, and why there was a clear winner by the end of it, and how this debate changed the course of political studies forever. Don't forget to subscribe to keep the interesting stories coming. Probably one of the most important debates in modern era of presidential politics was the Kennedy-Nixon debate from 1960. This debate between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon on September 24, 1960 was all about theatrics, probably a little more than content. Kennedy was young and vigorous and very boldly had allowed makeup to be applied on him. Up against him, we had Nixon, who looked glowery, nervous, and drenched in sweat. In retrospect, the analysis here has been that it really wasn't anything that Nixon said that made him lose. Instead, it was the fact that he had no training and no skills to work an audience through the television. I mean, in today's times, would you rather watch Lily Late with Lily Singh or the Graham Norton Show? Multiple TV rankings have rated Lily Singh Show as boring and Graham Norton Show as the most entertaining. So on TV, style matters. In the Kennedy-Nixon debate, Kennedy kept his gaze straight ahead, engaging his TV audience. But Nixon, he was looking from side to side addressing the reports. While there's nothing wrong with looking at reporters, you're losing out on that connection and that bonding with the audience. Political debates have taken place in the United States as far back as 1858. The first few ones were between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen A. Douglas. But it wasn't until 1956 that Freda Kahn, a student from the University of Maryland, suggested a national presidential debate. Going into the 1960 election campaign, Nixon was the clear favorite. He had served for eight years as Eisenhower's vice president. When you compare this to Kennedy's experience, he had only served for one term as a Massachusetts senator. But two weeks before the debate, Nixon suffered a knee injury and spent the entire two weeks in the hospital and looked much more drawn and tired. Even before television, the charisma of the candidates played a huge role in the elections. The 1960 face-off was simply a way of making the elections more democratized and accessible to the general public. With over 70 million people watching, this debate has been studied countless times, even in the subsequent years. From in-depth studies into how each candidate portrayed themselves to the impact of televised debates, this is like a Friends episode that you keep rewatching because it's funny and deep and makes you feel amazing after. The stories of the debate go as Nixon showed up to the studio looking pale and glistening with sweat, while Kennedy looked tan, rested, and all geared up. Reporters have gone to the extent of describing it as death warmed over for Nixon, and Kennedy had just signed on as a movie star. Historians do say that Kennedy's media savvy won him that election, while Nixon won the actual debate. The fact of the matter is that both had a strong grasp of their work and plans for the United States. Being on TV for the first time for the presidential debate was a challenge for both, but neither had any trouble articulating their perspective and their party's positions. Believe it or not, to show civility, Kennedy and Nixon shared a sleeper car while going back from the debate. The story goes that they even drew straws to see who would get in the lower berth in the sleeping car. And ironically enough, Nixon won. Today, if you rewatch the debate, you'll see how both men took a last-minute direction from the production team to heart. Kennedy immediately went into the attack and criticized, and Nixon played it nice. Nixon played it so nice that he came off the opposite of his usual combative self. University studies of polls taken immediately after the debate showed no clear difference between the audience, but there was a clear indication that the radio listenership was super low. The Gallup poll even announced a virtual tie, but the myth that Kennedy blew Nixon right out of the water still persists. Talking about popular and iconic pairs, are you ready to find out about the pair that built Instagram? Say hello 
hello to Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger and check out my next video to see how they bid adieu to their baby, Instagram. Before you go, watch that next video. Subscribe to Behind the Date for more interesting stories from all over the world. All right, I gotta go. I gotta make sure Instagram's not really shutting down.